So we are going to solve problem 3.37 from Sadiku book. So the question is solve problem 3.8 using mass analysis. We have solved this before but using nodal analysis and we are asked to find V0. V0 is the voltage between this resistor here. So we are going to use mass analysis. So mass. So we are going to use loops and I will make two loops here in the circuit. This is our first loop. Let's name this as loop 1. And this one is the second loop. Let's name this as loop 2. So we are going to do what is called KVL, Kirchhoff Voltage Law. KVL at loop 1. So the KVL said that the sum of the voltage in a loop is equal to zero and we will explore that value that law so here's in loop one uh, so we will pass four components this resistors this resistors this voltage source and this resistor so we will start by we will start at this component it is four ohm so we will have four but this is resistance and we need voltage so we need to multiply it by the current the current is this loop so it is i1 and this one also the same this is resistance so 6 ohm but we need voltage so we multiply it by current and the current here is only this one so it is still i1 and this is 60 volt it is already voltage so we don't have to do anything here and this one is 20 ohm 20 ohm is resistance so we need to multiply it by the current but the current here there is two current that flowing here from this loop to the bottom and from this loop to the top so we start by this side first so it is i one minus the opposite side so i will have i2 and that will equal to zero and now let's do some simple algebra here we will have 10 i1 plus 60 plus 20 i1 minus 20 i2 so that will equal to zero and we'll have 30 i1 minus 20 i2 is equal i move the 60 to the right hand side so i will have minus 60 and for simplicity i just divide both side by 10 so i will have is equal to minus 6 and let's save this as equation number 1 so we move on to this second loop so we will use KVL at loop 2 KVL at loop 2 again we have four components one two three four and we will start in this component here so we will have 20 ohm but it is a resistance so we need to multiply it the current multiply it to the current so this current is i2 but it's also have this current here minus i1 and then we move to this that source it is flowing from minus to plus so it is minus 60 it is already on voltage so we don't need to do anything about it and then this one gain plus 20 and this is resistance so we need to multiply it by the current i2 and now for this one it is already voltage so I just leave it as is it is flowing from plus to minus so the sign is plus 
5 v0 and that will equal to 0 and now we do some algebra here 20 i2 minus 20 i1 minus 60 plus 20 i2 plus 5 v0 is equal to 0 and then let's see what we can do here this is 40 i2 minus 20 i1 and i move 60 to the right hand side and we still have this plus v0 here 5 v0 is equal to 60 now we still have v0 here and if we look closely v0 here it's by using omlau we can have but the plus sign is here so we will have 40 i2 minus 20 i2 i know 20 i1 plus 5 now i0 v0 v0 is the current times resistance so the current is this one but it's flowing from negative to positive so we need the opposite so we will have minus i1 times 4 and that will equal to 60 now we will have 40 i2 minus 20 i1 and this one is also minus 20 i1 and that will equal to 60 and what do i have here i will have minus 40 i1 plus 40 i2 is equal to 60 and then i can divide both sides by 20 so i will have minus 2 i1 plus 2 i2 is equal to 3 and now save this equation as equation number 2 and now what can we do here so this is equation number 1 and this is equation number 2 i think i can of this equation number two here number one i mean three i one minus two i two is equal to minus six and let's sum this equation so i will have i one i one here this will cancel each other and this will be 3 minus 6 is minus 3 ampere here and now we are we are need to solve v0 so v0 is this voltage and this voltage the plus sign is here so it it's the current should be from positive to negative so it is the opposite of i1 so it is minus i1 times this resistance so i will have four and minus i1 is three and it multiplied by four so v0 is 12 volt this is the final answer okay hope that i don't make any mistakes and thank you for watching